Welcome back to my Visual Basic um, programming tutorial. Um, in the last tutorial, basically what it did, it would just sink to the ground. And that is because Visual Basic is terrible at detecting collisions. Um, I always, I'm in a class where we're creating games in Visual Basic and I always run into these kinds of problems and it's just, you have to find what works out. So I'm actually just going to pause this video until I can find what the problem is and then I'll come back and let you know. Oh my god, I see my problem. I said this, okay, so I put a wrong structure here. So I put this under, the else if under if is jump is equal to false. I have to copy this and put this under this conditional statement. So make sure that it's after this end if. The else if is after this end if, because that's why I hate using multiple. Then, of course, it works. So then it'll fall, and our gravity all works. And actually, we can set our gravity. We have to set both these timer intervals to match, what was this, 20? So we can set both these intervals to match 20. So then he'll do everything at the same interval. So there we go. This is now our basic uh, 2D platformer game. Uh, the next thing that we can do with this is we can just um, create little boundaries for him to jump on. So how we do that is we can just add a picture box. And instead of actually naming these picture boxes, and actually I'm just going to make this like this color or something. So instead of naming these picture boxes and doing an if statement for every single one of these picture boxes, what we can do instead is we can just tag it. So we'll tag this with bound for boundary. So now that this is a tag, what we can do, we can just put these, we can just copy this, and then we can just put as many of these all over the place. All over the place. And then they're all tagged with bound, as you can see down there. So that's great, but then how do we detect whether which one it cl collides with? Then we have to say we can use a for each statement, which is one thing I like about Visual Basic game development. I use a lot of these. So for each, and then the first thing you have to do is actually um, you have to set it as a control. So you have to say for each, like let's just say B for boundary, as control in me dot control not container con controls the reason you have to say this is because if you don't say this then it'll run into a lot of problems if you add something that isn't a picture box onto the screen I have no idea why it just does that so then you say if type of B is picture box then if B dot so then this will inherit all the things for picture box if b dot tag is equal to bound which remembers what we set that picture box to then we want to tmr gravity dot stop okay so now let's run this and see if it worked and that's a little weird it's now detecting is this did i actually tag this with bound no hold on a second Oh, I did another stupid mistake. Uh, I didn't add a collision event. If pick player dot bounds dot intersects with b dot bounds, then we want to stop gravity. It was just saying like if it's there, then stop the timer. I was like, okay, it's there, so we stop the timer. So now if it's there and he's intersecting with it, so now there we go. So now he can jump from these to these, and as you see, there's a little bit of a phasing glitch going on there, and that's because, like I said before, Visual Basic is terrible at detecting collisions, so if you wanted to get rid of this, you could actually put this to be invisible, then set, like, a fake one, so then you could just stop the phasing, but it's really pointless for this tutorial. And then, if you wanted, you could just make it so it looks like that, and then the ground is, like, green or something. So like on the ground and see sometimes the phase glitch is there sometimes it's not that's why I hate visual basic but or game development in visual basic at least but um yeah so this is the basic of visual basic um this is the basics of how to create a 2d platform in visual basic um so yeah all the source code will be down in the description I'll, so yeah see you next time bye